Hello, everybody, and welcome to webinar number two in a series of three webinars we're, we're producing on SEO and everything that, that goes along with the SEO universe. We are joined today by our expert, Dennis Lazarenkov. He is joining us from London, England. Thank you so much for joining us, Dennis. My now, uh, if you haven't already, I highly encourage you to uh, watch our first uh, webinar on this particular topic. Uh, but uh, uh, no need to worry. You can always consume those uh, webinars at your leisure anytime on printify.com slash webinars. And uh, just to let you know that at the end of today's webinar, we will be providing you with a downloadable PDF of all the information that Dennis covers today. Thank you, Dennis. As well as we will be having a trivia question based on the topics, uh, based on the information provided by Dennis. And the first three people that put the correct answer into our chat below will receive a Printify uh, sales credit of $50. Okay, so that's the first three correct answers in our chat. Okay, and those of you, that have uh, that joined us for our first webinar. First of all, congratulations for making it through. And if you watch all three of our webinars all the way through, you will be entered into a uh, contest, a random uh, selection, uh, where you will be eligible to win one hundred dollars. Excuse me, one hundred dollars of Printify sales credit, as well as a Printify hoodie. And we'll get in contact with the winner so that we get your correct size and all that. So no need to worry. So watch all the way through. Get the downloadable PDF at the end. Answer the trivia question. Win some money. Watch all three webinars. Win even more money and a Printify hoodie. Enough said. Okay. All right. Well, now that that is out of the way, Dennis. Thank you again so much for joining us. For those that are just joining, uh, just joining our webinar series now, perhaps you could provide just a short introduction on yourself. So, uh, and then, and then we'll kind, of, and then we'll dive right into it after that. Okay? Yeah. Hi guys, I'm Dennis Lazarenkov. I'm a CEO at EUSA. It's a premium e-commerce agency based here in London, and uh, I'm actually um, I'm ex uh, top thirty and thirty uh, Google Campus alumni. I've won several Martech prizes with my team, and here I'm. I will be covering for you you e-commerce SEO and uh, this is a second webinar where we're going to cover on page and technical optimization so in our in our previous webinar I was covering more um, data and, and and more research things like how much money you need to invest how much money you can get what, how to analyze your competitors what are your numbers please if you haven't seen it please come back and and watch it because it's it's quite boring it's about the numbers but believe me numbers count and that will be your golden ticket to a million dollar club uh, of business owners and and this is the way i mean uh, so uh, over here we're going to cover all the things with on page and technical optimization and the plan is to cover three main things so on page optimization website structure and technical optimization specifically for e-commerce businesses Let's start. Before we jump in, I'm sorry to interrupt, Dennis, but I, I just want to mention that uh, for everybody watching, we have our, our moderators, Chris Dubs and Sarang, uh, monitoring the chat. If you have questions about today's presentation, put those into the chat. We'll do our best to answer them. But in some cases, if the questions are a bit technical, we promise to follow up with you in an email, but we will leave no question unanswered. Okay. All right. Let's get right into it. Thank you, Dennis. Right. So the first part is on page op optimization also known as document relevancy. So what is that? So um, you should understand that search engine job is to understand what users want and help them find it. So for us as a business owner and SEO expert is the main job to create relevant content that answers their question. This is uh, the quote from Tommy Griffith, one of my teachers, he's ex uh, CEO, um, SEO sorry, at uh, Airbnb and PayPal, and also he's the founder of Clickmine. And I really recommend this kind of course. If you, if you want it, please dive in. Um, so um, what is the document relevancy? Well, actually, this is, this is an on-page optimization itself. So when we're talking about on-page optimization, to do this and that, this is all about the relevancy, how to make your specific page relevant to what our people are searching for. This is it. And you should understand that the main and golden rule of keyword research and on-page optimization is one core keyword, one page. So it's not about creating tons of keywords and putting them on the main page or tons of keywords and, and putting on your category page, product page, everywhere. It should be one core keyword, 
per one page. And this is really, really important because many people are forgetting about it. And that's why if you haven't seen our pre previous webinar um, uh, concerning the keyword grouping, how we are collecting the groups of keyword and what will be your keyword, your core keyword, please come back and watch it because that is the thing here. And, and you should understand that Google ranks pages not Tommy. So many people are coming to me, hey, Dennis, you know, I have quite a shitty website. I need to improve it. Well, you know, my SEO is bad. I'm telling you, actually not your website is bad. Your pages might be not relevant or might be bad for specific search terms. And that's what you should remember. Um, also, you, you should uh, not just optimize your main page, as I mentioned before, but you should op uh, optimize every kind of page that might get to traffic. And we'll talk about it later a bit. So the main things for the on-page optimization for e-commerce uh, shops are actually three. Title tags, description tags, and product or category page content. So three main elements where I would like to focus your attention because they're crucial. They're so important for e-commerce that then uh, for, for all other niches and, and, and all other verticals. So we'll try to work with them here. And for you to understand what is a title tag, well, this is actually the name of your product page or of your product itself. And the best example, again, is Amazon. So Amazon is, is just a leader. They're, the, they're monopolists, so they, they know what they're doing. So what we're trying to, uh, to show you, so whenever you don't know how to create an ideal name for your specific product, go to Amazon. Find those guys who are in top top one, top two, top three um, in your specific categories and just copy, not directly, but uh, still like an artist, you know, there's an amazing book, like still like an artist. You, you, just, you just need to be inspired by their uh, names and uh, of their products and try to do it by yourself. The same with your product description. So you just dive in, understand how Amazon pages and or as they call them, Amazon listings are made and just steal the best practices for yourself. This is the best uh, advice I can give you. Uh, the next thing are description tags and product schema. So what are the description tags? This is how your pages appear on Google search. So as you can see, I'm, I'm showing to you. So um, uh, those blue uh, words, as you can see, are product tags or, or your names of your products. They're super important. They're super important for your SEO. They're super important for, um, for the indexing. And description tags are the things that usually, either if you have a WooCommerce, they're like your SEO plugin or some other people are just missing. They're like, oh, why do I need to do that? They're super important for your organic CTO. So that's why try to fill in everything you can. And moreover, there have been such a thing as called schema, which are uh, micro targeting. So it's micro understanding and marking for the Google. What are your products? And actually what you need is just product schema. So they give you several main things. So one is, is the stars. You see how they look, how fancy they look. The rating. Um, no, with, with your reviews, how many reviews you have, the price, and either it's in stock or not. I mean, when people see it, most probably they're going to click on it. So try not to forget it and try to make them all. And there is an amazing on-page guide that Brian Dean, my, my teacher, wrote um, some time ago. Uh, and you just need to follow all the steps. You just open this uh, article. You'll, you'll see it in the PDF. And Brian just made it one by one what you need to do specifically and try to implement as many as you can. Right. And, and, and here are the hints, are the bonuses, you know, because all people asking for those hints, how to improve, what to do, like no other people do. And I'll tell you. So this is the page title. And um, try to, to add some com commercial words as we call it. So it's buy, deals, vast, free shipping, etc. So it will increase the organic CTR and people will click on it more often because, you know, many people are saying like, hey, what if I add those kind of um, click bite words, like it might not look so well. Again, let's come back to Amazon. Check how they are doing it. They have the caps lock everywhere. They have all these words everywhere, all the synonyms, all the variants, and it works. You should do pretty the same. And, and here's an example, the bass, cheap noise, canceling headphones. You see, it should convert really good. The next hit for your page titles is that you, you can add words as X of lowest price sale if you really have the sales. Because uh, sales are increasing conversion from 15 to 30%. So you can write it down in your page title so people can click it more often. So in, in this example, slow cookers, 25% off and free shipping on every order. 
I would click here. I mean, it's, 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 it really works for me and, and, and definitely for many other people. What about meta description? So in the previous example, we had approximately 70 characters. Here we have 320. That, that means we can use more words, more description. And that you, you understand when you use them um, here, you can get more clicks and more people can see it. And, and I just um, prepared those things for you, like get the best price on specific day, uh, day or save X percent off on your specific product. All of our products are on sale right now. And the example, get the absolute best prices on dog food today, get free shipping on all orders. Click here to see all of our exclusive deals. People are also asking me either we can use uh, those caps lock words or not. Uh, in title, sometimes Google Ads is banning it. Google Ads, you're not. That's why it's so cool here. And descriptions, never. I mean, they, they, they always allow you to use the caps lock, but try to use it wise, like free, sale, discount, percentages that's what people um that will draw people's attention and that's why they start clicking here and uh, you should also know that the big um the big research was done by brian dean uh, at backlinko and he has understood um he, he had found out that actually it, when you have more than 1000 words in your description most likely you will take first positions so when people ask me hey uh, do my description need to be long do my description need to be short how it should be done guys the longer the better that shows the research and i'll show you right now this is the example of our, of our clients uh, of shopify and uh, as you can see we're trying to use all the kind of descriptions we can as over here we have the main description here we have another description with more like formulas and so on and also we're trying to use FAQ blocks just to add more and more and more content that, uh, behind. And this kind of specific page is right now in top three of Google search. Um, so yeah, this is the answer. Um, the next um, advice, the next hint I'd like to give you is to sprinkle your keywords at least three to four, two to five times. And the, the great example is you need to put one of your keywords, usually it's your core keyword, in the first 100 words. Again, it's a research from Backlinko, and, and this is exactly how we are doing uh, in our agency. So as you can see, we, we, if we are promoting multi-strain probiotics, we, we add in it into the titles, it's H2, then we're trying to use multi-strain probiotics in first 100 pages, and then in the beginning for each paragraph, and on all the kind of titles, and uh, all the kind of descriptions. So try not to do a lot of keywords, it's called keyword stuffing. So I would, recommend to, to use from seven to nine, if you have a good content, uh, that is the maximum. So I, I would not recommend to use it too often. So try to use synonyms, try to use words that will describe it uh, differently. And Google, Google really likes it. The next thing is URLs. So also I, I, I'm asked about uh, the length of the tail of, of the link. So how you should name it, you know, and, and what I see uh, in most of the cases, people are naming it like, um, blue uh, scholar um, things with uh, this kind of specific size for children, kids, and so on. They're really, really long. And uh, the research from Brian has showed that actually the shorter your URL, the better. So you should, you should write it, write specifically, and try not to add some details with colors, sizes, models, and so on in your URL but leave it there on the pages and, and just use it as short as possible because that means you have more possibility to be in, in, in top one, in top two, top three and get more traffic and more sales on these specific products. And just like a, as an example, as you can see Backlinko, they are super uh, short with their URLs and this specific article where I was taking this infographic form is backlinko.com forward slash e-commerce SEO. And that's it. You know, and, and, and that's exactly the same practice you can use for your on-page optimization, also by following all the kind of steps that Brian has mentioned before. Okay. This is it. Okay. And my key takeaway from that section is to trust the research that has been done 
and to even even if it sounds uh counterintuitive perhaps or if it sounds uh uh like like a little bit cheesy or something like that to to do your d descriptions or or, or 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 seo excuse me your uh keywords this in, in in this particular way but it's super important to trust the research that has been done but beforehand and uh and, and and let the results speak for themselves so i absolutely i absolutely love the yeah. way you presented that and i really really hope that gets across to our audience at home yeah, Martin. So, uh, you know, uh, in, in analytics and statistics, there is such term as called statistical significance. So the necessary amount of people doing the same trigger or the same pattern. And for you to understand, Brian is working with tens of millions of websites, and he's taking this information usually with ASEMrush. And, and ASEMrush actually, actually bought uh, Backlinko like one or two months ago. Uh, completely. So, uh, and 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 also, he. I remember he was partnering with Ahrefs. It is also one of the biggest competitors of Asian Rush, and they also have like billions of of of, of search uh, examples and websites. And that's why they were analyzing it really a lot. And, and you can read the whole study there. I mean, the, you will have all the links below in the PDF and 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 check it by yourself. But that is. And uh, the trends right now. Excellent. All right. And here, here, here's a good opportunity to uh, mention two things before we move on. One, don't forget, we got that trivia question coming at the end of today's presentation, along uh, with the uh, downloadable PDF with that uh, trivia question. Win $50 uh, printed by sales credit for the first three correct answers. And if you want to get in touch with uh, Dennis and make use of his services to uh, 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 improve your profitability, you can contact Dennis through our Printify Experts program. You can see that link in the chat below. And additionally, with that, with the Printify Experts program, we here at Printify can connect you with all sorts of external resources that can help you regardless of the area in which you need, need some assistance, because we want to do everything we can to support you and your growth as a merchant. Okay, excellent. All right, that's enough for me. Dennis, let's go into the second section. The second section is website architecture. It's uh, called uh, internal linking. So how you link all your pages and also it's silo. Well, silo is a magic word for all many SEOs and I'll tell you why. So the golden rule of, of, uh, of internal linking and of all this uh, architecture is called three clicks golden rule. So you should understand that your page should be not further than three maximum four clicks from your home page so uh, this is the practice because google is indexing usually not longer not further than three four clicks from there from the home page so that's why when you're creating many many subcategories many many subfolders inside of your of your web page that means your product pages where you really sell your stuff will be not indexed and will be not inside of the google so that's why you you need to have the specific structure. And I was showing this ideal structure in our previous webinar, where you have the home page, you have category pages, subcategory pages, and product pages. I'm not talking about service pages like checkout page, your cart page, thank you page. Uh, they're not indexable. We're not interested. People are not landing there, they're not buying. So we usually land them on product pages, subcategory pages, category, and home pages. Even when you don't have subcategory pages, it's fine. For instance, when you have a limited number of products you are selling, that's okay. That's even better because Google will say, okay, so this is the, uh, the categories and, and these are your products. And I, um, uh, as an as example with which shoes for you to understand on example is you uh, uh, create uh, categories like sneakers, formal and sandals. Then inside of the sneakers, you create subcategories like sports and street. And then inside you have all the different products you might have. The same with the formal, with Oxford and Loafers and products and sandals with uh, flip-flops and leather and then all the products inside. So this is ideal structure. Try to follow these guides. These are the best practices, right? Right now, I'll show you what uh, the sealer is because uh, that is amazing thing. It's, it's, uh, it was created by one of the best CEOs. Uh, uh, he's an American actually. Uh, his name is Kyle Roof. He's famous for, for his experiment with, uh, with Google, where he used the content, Laura Ipsum, you know, all this kind of words. And he was putting keywords just in this uh, template uh, text and Google indexed his pages on top one, top two, top three keywords. And it was like an experiment and it was a scandal 
because Google was saying, hey, I understand it's so nice. I understand all the topics, uh, and all the content that is written there. And he actually proved that it's wrong. And, 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 and for a long time, Google was was trying to catch him, was trying to say, hey, and actually this is like you are, you are breaking our algorithm, you are, you are making like a chaos there. And he created his own agency, it's called High Voltage, and he's sharing his best practices. And one of the things he's sharing right now is like, hey, okay, try not to break the, the Google algorithm, it's not good, but I try to, to use the best practices and it's called silo structure. So the silo structure, or how uh, Kyle is calling it reverse content silo structure is when you have in your supporting articles, for instance, you um, you have a private air charter, uh, uh, a topic cluster, and then you have specific articles. It's like buy a seat on a private jet, best online charter jet booking, how do I buy a private jet flight? So all these kind of articles that you write in the blog. So you, you make the link building for these specific uh, articles, and then they link between each other with the anchor link. Like, Hey, like read our article about best online charter uh, jet booking here. And that is the anchor link, like that you do inside of the copy, uh, in, inside of the text. And, 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 and th that's the only link. And then you link on the main product page, like, hey, you can book your jet or you can book your private air jet right here. Uh, and, and this is an anchor link. And this is the only links that make from these articles on this product page. And nowhere else. I mean that because you know, like uh, before it. I mean, uh, like if you take Tommy Griffith, that that I was mentioned before, he's um, an ex um, a CEO at Airbnb, um, and uh, they had an opposite thing. They said, "Hey, link on everyone." I mean, like you like create this link in neighborhood, like uh, let the Google understand that all is good. That you are friends with everyone. You're a huge thing, and that actually works for Airbnb. But uh, Kyle said, if you actually have a small website or e-commerce shop, because, you know, product pages are really hard to promote in, in, inside of Google, use this specific structure when you have articles, no other links just between them and on the product page. And from this product page, just have the link in on the homepage. The, the best practice is breadcrumbs, you know, like these kind of small things uh, in the e-commerce when you have main page categories and then the products over there, and that's it. No other links, nowhere else. And he says, if you do this reverse content silo, that means you will create and promote the product pages just with, with internal linking. And no other, uh, no other backlinks are needed. And, uh, and that's how he's doing in his agency. And people are paying him tens of thousand dollars to, to promote their e-commerce shops. And, 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 this is, and, and this just works perfectly. And I, I left this link in a PDF, Kyle Rook strategy, so you can uh, read it by yourself and implement it by yourself. And uh, okay. you also have a story. Yeah, go ahead. No, I, I just wanted to pause for just one second because I'm hearing I'm hearing through the camera and I, I want to I want to address our, 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 our audience at home right now that, hey, uh, I have I, I have an Etsy shop and maybe this stuff doesn't necessarily directly apply to apply to me. And uh, I just want to I just want to address that here quickly because you're you're correct and you're also incorrect uh and and i, I want to tell you why because when it comes to keywords i mean S, uh, etsy is all about keywords but when it comes to building your your websites um i still want you etsy merchants at home to pay attention and this is why because um this is what I would like to see happen to you in, in order to uh, build build your success as an SEO or excuse me as a an, as an e-commerce merchant optimize your uh, Etsy store with using the techniques that uh, that uh, uh, that Dennis is 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 providing and uh, also still still consume the information when it comes to websites because one day you're gonna you're, you're gonna reach the point where your where your Etsy store is is humming and you want to take your Etsy store and put it on a Shopify have a standalone store and then that's where you can apply these sort of uh, 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 tips and tricks and best practices that Dennis is is, is presenting uh, so that you can so that you can optimize your your uh, profitability and and just and once you have that done you you uh, all you need to do is create uh, is apply that already successful business strategy and open another store and another store and another store. And then so before you know it, you have an entire e-commerce empire at your at, at your disposal. So I, I just I just at least wanted to address that for 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 our Etsy crowd out there. OK, so yeah. st still pay attention, make use of everything and then eventually take your Etsy store and uh, and, 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 and make a uh, standalone Shopify store and build and build and build and build and build. Okay, excellent. Okay, that's it for me, Dennis. Sorry for interrupting. Let's go ahead and continue. 
good point, Martin. And, and Moro, I, I would like to add that actually it doesn't always need to be your own website. You know, usually it's the best because you own the traffic, you own all the things. Because when you have an ads listing, and and some of our clients they had ads to listings, Amazon listings, and their own website. You know, and they were selling everywhere. Uh, what we can do here actually is you have your ads listing, and you might have your blogs. You know, it might be on your website or it might be on Medium. And 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 many of Medium articles are. They're really indexing and, and really, you know, performing well. Uh, and, and you just add these medium articles just on your Etsy listing. So you, your target page will be your, your Etsy listing. And, and your Etsy listing has already links with your main Etsy company listing with all your products. And that's it. You know, you just implement what you have. It might be medium, Etsy, and Etsy. Or it might be your blog and your website. Then it might be your ads listing and an ads listing, or it might be your own your own website. It doesn't really matter because that is how Google indexing it. You know, it, it doesn't matter what is the language page is used. So that's why it's um this is a, a, a strategy you can implement for each kind of thing. And this is the logic we want to show you, you know, because before it I was showing more easy to do steps with all the hints, with all the kind of advices here is more like internal linking strategies that work for the best. You know, it's more the advanced level. So regardless of your sales platform, we got something for you so you can maximize your profitability. Great stuff, Dennis, great stuff. Let's move on. Exactly. So I also have more advanced stuff, you know, so when you have several target things, but I will not spend so much time. It's actually the same. Uh, you can read it in color group strategies. So if you are having several product pages together and how they can work, so this is the thing, and this is what actually experienced um, top-level uh, SEOs do. Just take your time and read it. The next thing it would, I would like to cover is technical optimization. So it's, it will be all about Google Search Console, errors, speed, uh, user-friendly, and all this stuff. I'll try to show you exactly what Google, what matters for Google, so you can grab all the organic traffic, free traffic for your e-commerce shop. And what is a technical optimization? Actually, it covers several things. First, crawling and indexing, errors and redirects, site speed, mobile friendliness, structured data, and all the international versions of your website. This is it. This is all what is included. And the main thing that I would like you to do is to set up Google Search Console. This is an internal and free to use service by Google where you just need to uh, follow the link or you can Google it, Google Search Console, and you need to add your domain over there and just follow the easy way instructions. And then you can see all the kind of traffics, errors, problems. I mean, I'm not even, uh, I don't even want to spend time on it because it's so easy to use. Just do it and connect it to your Google Analytics. And that's it, you know, um, you will see all your traffic that is going or if you have any problems, just don't forget to do it. The next thing I would like to mention is mobile-friendly tests. Google mentioned that from 2015, they are mobile-optimized first search engine. So that's why when you're thinking about your website, you should think about your mobile version first. And if you want to check and, and, and know either it's good or not, you just uh, type the mobile-friendly test in Google and then type your, uh, your URL of your website and Google will show you either it's good or not. Either there are problems, um, either there are mistakes, and, and, and you can manage it after it. The best site, site auditor, so it's like, you know, the analysis of, of the whole technical stuff, it's called Raven Tools. Like Brian Dean is using it, like I'm using it, like all the good uh, experts are using it. It's free to use. It's amazing. Uh, you just need to sign up and, um, and you get these kind of uh, examples of all the kind of things that you need to improve. I'll show it later. I have the screenshots from it. So you just copy them and just you can send them to your developers or you can uh, implement it by yourself with all the kind of categories you need to follow. But the best thing actually that we all use um, uh, more advanced SEOs is Screaming Frog. Screaming Frog is a legend. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a British company and, and they created this SEO spider that allows you to parse all the keywords and find all the different mistakes, errors, 300 mistakes, 400 mistakes, all of them right on the go. So you just you just um, launch the spider, it collects all the kind of information and you get it there. And then you can you, 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 you can just get it from, from the specs and send it to your developers. So uh, coming to Raven Tools. So uh, with Raven Tools, it looks like that. So it, it shows you all the visibility issues 
that might have. So like page errors, uh, redirects that you need to fix, uh, like other, other pages that are blocked by all this technical stuff, meta issues, content issues, image issues, all of them, you just download it into PDF and you just send it to your developers. That's it. If, you are, if you're a tech guy, if, if you know all the stuff, you know how to work with the code, you can implement it by yourself. If you go to the code and start implementing one by one, if not, if you're not a tech guy, if you know no one, uh, just go to Upwork. It's an amazing freelance platform where you can get all the different freelancers. We are using Upwork for the technical SEO. So we just come in and say, hey, this is the spec doc from Raven that was showing to you. We need to fix all those and this and that mistakes. Please estimate your hours. Please estimate how much, uh, how much time you need to spend and just do it. And that's it. That's, that's it how, how, you, how you need to manage it. And, and, and then all the technical issues will be, will be managed and you can move to the next section away. Thank you for your attention. Oh, wow. Dennis, uh, again, a whole bunch of information. And I just want to remind everyone out there that uh, this, is, this, this webinar will be consumable on printify.com slash webinars um, for, 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 for your rewatch because, yeah, you're going to want to go over this again and again and again because what I like about your presentation today is that there was something uh, for everybody, regardless of where you are in your merchant journey. You're just getting started. Here's some free resources. If you, uh, if you have a little bit of success and those paid resources start to make sense, you have that. So uh, th that's what I absolutely love. You can get that information in a downloadable PDF. Again, if you want to uh, make use of Dennis's, uh, Dennis's services, you can get in contact with him through the Printify Experts program. Again, that link will be in the chat for you to take advantage of and as as well you can find all sorts of resources there for for, for you uh regard again regardless of where you are in your merchant journey we just want to provide you with all the resources you need to be as profitable as possible okay so wow dennis um great job webinar number two wonderful um yeah go back revisit uh, webinar number one webinar number two and it'll make it'll it'll make more sense as it all comes together but don't forget we have one more webinar in this series of three webinars on seo where uh dennis lazarenkov is it will be sharing more information that will be next week be sure to sign up and join us for that and if you join us for all three webinars watch them all the way through our analytics will tell us who uh who amongst you uh qualifies uh and you'll be uh eligible for the grand prize of this webinar series which is 100 uh which is a 100 printify sales credit as well as a Printify hoodie. So watch them all the way through. You've got one more to go. If you've made it all the way through two, congratulations. But as I promised before, I promised you a trivia question. And for the for the first three of you that put the correct answer in chat, you will win a $50 Printify sales credit. So without further ado, the, uh, the uh, trivia question is, what is the golden rule of on-page optimization? Now, Dennis provided us that information earlier on at the beginning of today's uh, webinar. Hope you were paying attention. First three correct answers in the chat will win a $50 Printify sales credit. So again, what is the golden rule of on-page optimization? Wow, Dennis. Thank you so much for sharing your time with us, for sharing it with our merchants. Um, and again, uh, apply th th this, this is applicable to you, whether you have a Shopify store, whether you have an Etsy store. And uh, in the future, once you, once, you start, once you start replicating your already successful business practices after you've optimized uh, all your steps, according to the information that, uh, that, uh, Dennis, did, that Dennis provided, it's all going to make sense and you can build and build your success. Um, again, I love, I love the information that you provided at the end about the Google Search Console, the mobile friendly test, the website auditor. All this, uh, all this information, free and paid versions, uh, absolutely wonderful stuff, Dennis. Well, that is it for this particular, uh, for webinar number two in this series of three on SEO. Join us next week where Dennis will, pr will present the third and final uh, presentation on SEO. Put it all together, make use of the information and make yourself as profitable as possible. Okay, Dennis, thank you so much. Thank you to everybody that joined us and we'll see you next time, okay? All right. Bye, everyone. Bye.